Hi guys, I'm back. And first off, of course, the sponsor list. February 2019. Thank you all. Okay, what I'm going to do is just do the sides. I'm going to uh, give it a little coat of paint. Like that. And I'm not going to put anything on the middle here because I want to do something different. So we're going to make sure that the sides are neatly painted. There we go. Last one. That's it. That's all we need. Maybe a little in the corner here. That's it. Okay, we're ready because I want to do it just a little bit different now. I'm just not sure if we have enough room to do that, but I'll try and show you what I'm thinking of. Okay, we have a balloon and we have a bigger balloon. But this time I'm going to put the paint here and then uh, put it on here. So uh, wait, I gotta close the door. So what I want to do is put some paint on the table here. <clears throat> and of course, nice and green. We're using the same colors that we used in the previous one, but I'm just going to show you that um, there are different ways to approach this balloon smashy thing. So a little bit of white on top. There we go. Then we have the balloon and we're going to dip it in here. And we're going to dip it on here. Now, <clears throat> that is a whole different ball game. See that? And we can do that again. Got to make sure that we center it a little bit. And there we make our balloon smashes. Now, this will, um, if you're not uh, careful, this will smush a lot. So after a couple, you'll have to clean off the balloon. I'm sorry for the noise, but um, I know that it is very irritating because I can't stand that sound myself. But you'll have to uh, bear with me here. There we go, putting it on top. And a little bit of yellow in this one. There we go. And we do it again. It's because I have the rubber gloves and the rubber balloon, that's why it's making so much noise. And this way you can pretty much um, determine where you want the, uh, the little uh, smashes to go. And of course, you can always, to fill up gaps, it's okay to use uh, the same pour. There it is. And then we start again. But you're getting the idea. It's just uh, making sure that um, it's not too much mixed up, the colors. If you just go on and on and on in the same one, it'll you'll see that the colors uh, don't keep the the same definition they had with the first one and then you can pretty much see that it's a lot different. I'm going to try without cleaning the uh, balloon. There's a lot of uh, things you can do with this. So what you could do is just leave this white but of course, oops, don't drop the balloon. But of course, you'll have to um, make sure that this is uh, painted beforehand. See how much it now turns grayish? So you don't want that. That's too gray. 
So when you get that, the good thing to do is just clean off your balloon and clean off... Um, this is kind of cool looking though. I might really just leave that intact because I like the uh, I like that idea for uh, some skins. Let's give it a little bit more. I'm gonna put a couple there. See it's not um, really that difficult. You just put your colors on top of each other like this. That's it. Then take the balloon, press it in there, and put it on top. See, now you can see a little bit more color. So we're going to give it one down there, one up here. Now these you can always take away. I have to rest that one down there. So you could leave it just like this, or you could cover the whole thing. Now, because there's silicone in here, you'll see some cells forming. Just uh, really tiny ones, because there's not enough paint for it to flow. So that's why we're not getting these really big, big cells. I'm going to put some more here in the middle. <coughs> and I'm going to finish off with a lot of white so we have the colors that going that way and then I'm gonna add some more and more white to the uh, middle there we go and because I'm using a lot of white you'll see that there is um, not that much um, paint going gray because there's a lot of white involved I think I'll just dip it in there anyway. There we go. So we have the nice deep colors on, on the corners and we have a lot of white in the middle. That's going to give us the uh, sort of the same thing I was going for but I didn't paint the background so I have to cover the whole canvas with paint. There it is. Now there's a lot of people that um, are doing this, this technique, and it's pretty and it's easy and you get um, a result straight away so there's nothing that is going to um, make it difficult. And with a little balloon, I'd buy some different sizes balloons because then you can, you know, just check your canvas if you have some canvas showing, if you didn't paint the background, that is. And then you can just add here and there, you can add some where the canvas is showing. I like one in there too. So this, this is just a lot of uh, balloon smashes. Looks pretty. It's easy to do. Um, this would be a really a lot of fun doing this with children because they're going to love this technique. And they can go all out because it doesn't matter how much you press your balloon in it. It's going to keep on giving you these lovely little patterns that are really, really pretty. Now, um, I think it's kind of uh, really cool looking. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I surprise myself. So I'm just going to dab on the sides because there is uh, nothing on the sides, of course, but paint. But I do want the pattern to just, you know, come over the side. I think that adds to the, uh, well, that makes it look just a little bit more professional, I guess. See how easy this is? And even children will have a blast doing this because they can do this. This is no difficult technique whatsoever. So, wait a minute, a little bit more white because I'm seeing that the white is almost done. And then I'll have to do that again. 
Okay, we've got, we've done the whole side. There it is. Now, to give you another um, sort of an idea what you can do with this, once you do this with children and you've um, let this dry, a really nice thing to do is um, stencil out the first letter of their name. So um, l let's say uh, the child's name is uh, uh, Shelly, something like that. So you stencil out one big letter. And if you have a printer, um, you can do that in Word. You can enlarge one letter really big, put it on an A4, you know, one of those printer papers, just cut it out. And then you, I would come back in with different colors, but really darker colors, and then do the same on top of that stencil. And then when you lift it off, you have this beautiful letter, and that would be something that would look really, really cute on a wall, you know, on a, uh, in a bedroom for a child. So it would be their own art with their own special letter on top, and that would make it personal and a lot of fun. Wait a minute, I see some more uh, canvas showing. So all you'd have to do is explain it to the kids and supervise a little bit because you want, of course you want the whole canvas covered and uh, that way when you put the uh, letter on top you're finished okay guys thanks a lot for watching i really enjoyed this little thing i like it when people uh, sort of um you know tell me you know could you do this or do that it's fun um but i always choose the things that sort of um uh, feel good for me too so I don't do everything you guys ask me to because that'd be too much but um, when you come up with something that I think oh I haven't done that in a long time because I've done this way back I've been, done this many times before but um, just one more there you know you just keep going with this thing it's so uh, it's a lot of fun uh, but I enjoy doing things that you guys ask me to so uh, just bring them on and I'll try and do what you guys do. The only thing I can't do is if you uh, ask me to do expensive stuff, like someone asked me to do a painting, I think two meters by one and a half meter, and they wanted me to pour on top of it. Well, guys, sorry to say, but that would cost something like two, three hundred euros, and I can't do that. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be a fun weekend, and uh, next week I have, um, uh, I took a, a week off, and I'm going to be doing a lot of watercoloring with the Vallejo watercolors, because I bought me a bunch of stencils. Okay, I will show you. Look at those. They are pretty. I bought a lot of them. Lots and lots of stencils. And you will not imagine how cheap they were because, um, well, I guess you could have guessed it because of the uh, the amount I bought. There are five in the package, and I think there was some something. Oops, almost touched it. There were five in a package, and they were something like uh, I think a euro. So they come to twenty cents a piece. So that's why I went all out and bought a lot of them. And some are really. Uh, nice to look at this one not so much and a, a little piece fell in here so, sometimes they're not really punched out that well and this one is really weird what is going on with this one see there's a star here oh no it's a loose one okay so a lot of stencils all sorts and sizes let me show them all to you that one and this one. Oh, that one's a little bit broken because I pulled them apart. There were two in the box or in the uh, in the package. A little. Oh, I got little stars on top. That's not good. This one. That one. Oh, and this one. This one's nice. Wait a minute. Let me hold it. These are little birdies. See that? Little birdies on the string. Then this one is my one of my favorites. This one. Then we have this one. And this one. This one I, I really like too. And then we have this one. So I'm going to be doing a lot of um, uh, playing with that. Now I'm really looking for a pencil. 
set a tweezer. I'll do that in a bit. Might be fun doing some of those things on top. You know, just embellish uh, the uh, painting too. That would be really cool. Put that letter on top. Because then uh, it would take up a lot of time, you know, because sometimes you have this project and it's like over within like uh, 15 minutes. And I know how children lose the interest really fast, but if you did this first, then, you know, put some embellishments in, that would be, uh, for children, that is always fun. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do a... Uh, you guys with the names you come up with for some stuff i'm gonna do three paintings in a row you call it a triptych or something like that we call it a drilog um so they're three small paintings and i'm gonna pour straight across it and i'm thinking of using the beautiful ocean colors so i'll be right back when i clean this all up and i'll see you in a bit jiffy love you all to pieces bye bye